Hello mga kabulero. Today, I've decided to create a video series to tackle the best practices and steps in publishing a paper to IEEE Explorer. So before I proceed with the discussion, let me first show you the benefits I've got from presenting my paper on an IEEE hosted conference and then having my paper published and indexed to the well-known publication and indexing sites. So here is uh, IEEE Explorer page. And this is the proceeding of the IEEE Cybernetics Conference, which I participated last June 27, 2022 in Malang, Indonesia. And my paper was published here two months after the said event, and then it was indexed to Scopus after one month it was published in IEEE Explore. So let's check my paper publication to show you where you can find it on the IEEE Explore page. So here, I can just type in my last name and check if it will show us a match on our keyword. So in here, by the way, the uh, hype, the link for the IEEE Explore is IEEE Explore IEEE.org. And as you can see, there's only one match on our key, uh, key search, which is my surname or last name. And you can find it, uh, you can find a paper here entitled On Tree Mature Coconut Fruit Detection Based on Deep Learning Using UAV Images. And you may find further information like the abstract and so on if you uh, click on the, the links on the page. And there you are. So this is one of the benefits that I've got. The other, the other thing or the other importance of um, having your publication in IEEE is that this is being indexed or IEEE is indexed in Scopus. And Scopus is a well-known indexing site um, where the uh, research papers, articles, and conference proceedings are being um, indexed or published. Now, in Scopus, you have this web page or you have this page. Let's see the homepage of Scopus. And you may find an author affiliations. And here I can just type in my last name and first name so that we can find any match on this particular key search. So let's click search and there you are. So we have my name here and a match is found. Let's click on the documents, the available documents on this page. And then it will show us proceedings 2022 IEEE International Conference on Cybernetics and so on. This was from Malang, Indonesia. And this is my paper. Okay, so you have your abstract and other uh, citations which were mentioned on my paper. So these are the one of the benefits of having a publication or a proceeding from IEEE. Now, let's go back to the presentation and let's see uh, what are the things that I'm going to discuss in this video series? So as an introduction, IEEE, what is IEEE? IEEE provides a wide range of quality publications that makes the exchange of technical knowledge and information possible among technology professionals with uh, the use of the IEEE Explore. And IEEE as an organization publishes the leading journals, transactions, letters, and magazines in electrical engineering, computing, biotechnology, telecommunications, 
power and energy and dozens of other technologies. And now we have machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence and so forth, so on. So IEEE publishes more than 1,200 leading edge conference proceedings every year and which are recognized by the academe or the academia and the industry worldwide as the most vital collection of consolidated published paper in the said fields. So in this presentation, we are going to discuss some of the important guidelines that are necessary in submitting papers to IEEE for possible publication. And this also includes a discussion and comprehensive review on how to leverage the IEEE manuscript template in writing our research documentation. So for those who are working on their research papers and um, looking forward to present their paper to a conference, or you are also required to publish your paper in a, in, a, in a journal or in a publication. Therefore, this video is fit for your, uh, for your qualifications or for your needs. Now, let's go ahead and have a quick introduction on the purpose of publication and try to answer the big question why is it that most researchers are eager to publish their papers in IEEE? Moreover, we will also discuss the different ways to publish a paper in IEEE. So why publishing is an important step in the research process. So I have five bullets here, uh, but this would cover the majority of the importance of having a publication on the research process. So the first one is publishing helps you share your research with the global scientific community. The next one is adding a peer reviewed publication to your CV can lead to career advancement and prestige, right? Now we have here improved quality of what? Peer review helps improve the quality of your article or of your paper. Number four is spurring new ideas. So the process of writing and undergoing review often leads to new ideas for future research projects. And finally, we have here archive. Publishing ensures that your article is accessible for future generations. Now, we have the benefits of the IEEE publication. Earlier, we are uh, discussing the general benefits of a publication to the research process. Now, we focus our, our attention. Why is it important to publish in IEEE? So publishing with IEEE, you can get the global prestige and speed of publication the high quality research uh, deserves as part of my my example earlier with my publication it only took 2 months from the conference to the publication to IEEE explore and then another month to be indexed in scopus that is how the speed of publication in IEEE can be considered as a high quality research which or high quality process of the publication compared as compared to other publications. So IEEE offers visibility and discoverability for your research. One accepted for once accepted for publication, your IEEE article will, will be published in IEEE Explore. And this is the premier source for technical content, and IEEE Explore has over 5 million documents and provides over 8 million downloads each month. That's, that's a lot, right? And IEEE is also the most cited publisher in the US and European new technology patents with over three times more than any other publishers. So another one, publishing your final article in IEEE Explore uh, would only take like an average of 31 to 60 days after you provide your final article, um, which you file uh, for publication. 
So you can also choose the right venue for your work by selecting from 150 plus journals and transactions, 40 plus magazines and 1,800 plus conferences, and also 1,600 plus print and electronic books in the page. So as a not-for-profit organization, IEEE is focused on people. And that means IEEE stands out from other scientific uh, publishers in so many ways. I have experienced uh, some other publications and publishers, and I can say that IEEE is the quickest in the publication process. That's based on my experience. So scientific paper is said to be the bread and butter of any academic qualifications. And whenever comp companies do recruitment or promotions, the first thing that they look at is publication. Publications became the top differentiator because of the depth and the difficulty of having one in place. Although publications are important in boosting your CV, but there is a bit more value than just writing a paper for the sake of writing a paper. And papers must be written to show how others can benefit from our work. Now, to submit a good paper, we should know the things that the reviewers and editors are looking for. And displayed on the slides are the list for your reference. Number one, content that is appropriate in scope and level. So every content must be dependent or should be dependent on the uh, conference goals and objectives. So be aware when you are submitting your paper to a conference, make sure that uh, your paper is within their scope or within the goal, right? Now, number two, clearly written original materials that addressed a new and important problem. And this is very significant for a research paper. Number three, extension of previously published work. Number four, valid methods and rationale. Number five, illustrations, tables, and graphs that support the text. And lastly, the references that are current and relevant to the subject. And all of this will be discussed when we move on to the manuscript um, template. So we will discuss each of this so that we will be hitting all the, the, the items that the editors and reviewers are looking for for a specific paper submitted to IEEE. So IEEE paper can either be a journal or a conference proceeding. Um, most of the time, these two are interchanged or um, understood differently. So to have a quick distinction between the two, let's discuss each of them in detail. So IEEE journals are cited three times more often in patent application than other leading publishers' journals. And this is one of the benefits. Um, one of the, I think, a, a negative implication of this is the high per percentage of articles submitted to the professional publication, which are rejected. And um, I was rejected once when I submitted in IEEE, and that's still part of the process. So that's for the journal. And this time is an IEEE conference. By the way, the example that I have shared to you, uh, it's not an article submission, but it's more of an IEEE conference submission. So IEEE conference proceedings are recognized worldwide as the most vital collection of published papers. And that's one of the good things of having an IEEE conference. Now, uh, per IEEE policy, if the authors failed to present the, the article in, an, in a conference, it may be suppressed in IEEE Explore and not indexed in other databases. So for you to be able to uh, move forward and be indexed to Scopus and other uh, databases, you have to be present and uh, you have to present your actual paper to the conference so that uh, your your paper will not be suppressed only in IEEE Explore. But in terms of um, the the distinction or 
the definition of, of both. So a, a journal article or an IEEE journal is a fully developed presentation of a research and its final and its final findings. So original research results are presented in a journal. Clear conclusions are made and supported by data. And in terms of its positive implication, IEEE journals are, of course, cited three more times or three more often in patent application that uh, um, it's, it's being used by more researchers because uh, they, they, they see that the uh, components or the contents of the, the IEEE journals are more reliable compared to those which are just the proceedings from the conference. Meanwhile, a conference article can be written while research is ongoing. Again, a conference article can be written while the research is ongoing. That is not true if we are looking at an IEEE journal. Okay, conference articles are typically shorter than journal articles with less detail and fewer references. So for a conference article or conference proceeding, it can, be, it can present preliminary results or highlight recent work. It gain informal feedback to use in your research. And in terms of its good point, um, IEEE conference proceedings are of course, recognized worldwide. And um, your publication, again, is a very vital part to boost your CV. All right. And this is way more easier uh, to be accepted versus the journal one. Okay. And I think this is the last section of this video. Uh, Few more parts will be discussed on a different video so that uh, our video today is not so lengthy. So I will stop here and um, check out the succeeding videos as part two of uh, this presentation series or video series for the IEEE journal and or for IEEE um, public paper publication and manuscript formatting guidelines. So hanggang dito na lang. Thank you so much for listening and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.